This is Obal, and this is my updated Guardian build guide for PvE. Given all the tweaks that have been made to our DPS calcs, mainly burning, and now that I can play around with stuff myself and see what's most optimal, I've looked into lots of setups and rotations. I'll be showing you how builds compare better now. I'll be making new recommendations based on that. So here are all the builds against a single target over a minute's time. For shorter fights where you really don't need much utility at all, namely dungeons, I would suggest using Retribution instead of Radiant Fire. You see the burst is better. It remains better for around 30 seconds. You start losing retaliation based on these calculations, but if you have people blasting your life fields, it's only going to go up. After about 30 seconds, it's nearly the same DPS over a course of a minute. So if you're pugging or soloing or you're doing high level fractals where things are going to take a bit longer to die and you're going to want to save your virtues and use them when you need them, you can go ahead and run Radiant Fire instead. It's not going to really make much of a difference there. If you have about 20 seconds or less for a fight to last and you're fighting something with a medium or a large hitbox, you're going to want to use Greatsword Scepter instead of Scepter only or Greatsword Mace. It'll end up doing more damage around that time and these numbers are with Retribution since that's pretty much what you want for a short burst anyway. You can see that Pure Scepter is the way to go for longer fights versus large hitbox targets. It shows pretty well like Hammer is not very good and why I only suggest it towards people who really need it. The burst is really bad compared to Greatsword and Scepter. Over time it is even better DPS than Greatsword Mace, but this is considering that you aren't dodging and breaking up chain, which really hurts you on Hammer. Kandi is also consistently around Virtue's Hammer, which isn't that great either. So mainly what you want is the biggest burst that you can get for the current content, and this craft shows it pretty well. Maybe things will change when raids come out. Here's the DPS against Trash, assuming you're cleaving three mobs at a time. Retribution is going to be better for this as well, since you can freely spam your Virtue of Justice and it won't really hurt you. You can see that it hurts Radiant Fire pretty bad. For Kandi, you shouldn't be using F1, so you're going to end up doing quite a bit more damage, but it's going to take you quite a bit of time to do that. You can see it has a pretty big ramp up time, so the Zerker is going to be better. You can see Hammer's pretty bad for Trash as well, since it's not very bursty at all. I just assumed that you would use Virtual Justice off the start at 5 seconds and 10 seconds. Here calcs are ran for Frostbow, assuming 8 hits on Ice Storm and using Frost Fan afterwards. You see that using Retribution is quite a bit better here too on that initial burst. After quite a while it's about the same still, so for longer fights it's not going to make too much of a difference. But for those short fights you'll definitely want Retribution. Except their Greatsword wasn't really much of a difference in the initial burst here. Unless you can use Smite and Zealot's Fire off the start as you run to pick up the Ice Bow. The reason for that is after you swap out of Ice Bow you'll need to do at most two Orbs of Wrath and you can get another Smite in after and swap the Greatsword and Burst. So that will be pretty strong. I didn't bother to show a Hammer or Kandi since it's pretty obvious that it's not going to be a good burst. Using Scepter only is going to take a little bit longer to catch up with the rest. Greatsword builds are the best things that you can run. Always Zeal, Radiance, Virtues. This is the variation for dungeons and short bursty fights where you really don't need much support. It's all about the damage. And for Zeal, you'll pretty much always want Fiery Wrath, Zealous Blade, Symbolic Avenger. For Radiance, you want Right Hand to Strength, unless you really need the Fury because it's a fairly long fight because you're solo or you're in a bug that's really not giving you much fury at all. You want to enter fire. Keep in mind it's got to be a decent amount of time because you do have 10 seconds from Feel My Wrath. You want to run Retribution. You're going to be burning all your virtues, so you're going to be losing a bit of support from your virtues line to get retaliation every time you use a virtue. And you want to use Perfect Inscriptions because you're not going to be getting a lot of burning damage with this build. And you should be able to have burn, Bane Signet quite a bit of time. You're really not going to need much support here. But when you can't have it, Amplified Wrath instead. These two aren't really much of a difference in damage, so it doesn't matter much. Unscathed Contender, run Master of Consecrations if you really need it. Supreme Justice will help a bit with your F1 spam. 
absolute resolution when you really need it since you're going to be burning your virtues that's going to be a loss in damage if you can't keep spamming your virtues but when you really need the con to clear go ahead and use that and play using it and indomitable courage you're going to be using up your virtues anyway you might as well get another boon from power of the virtuous other classes have boon, uh, boon damage so it's not a bad choice Permeating Wrath, Battle Presence, again you're going to be spamming your virtues so they aren't really going to help you. Also if you're really hurting to get retail you can put on Healer's Retribution if your virtues aren't coming up for a fight or you need to save them for some reason. You can just do that and use Litany of Wrath right at the start if you don't really need to heal. You get quite a decent amount of retail at the start as you're running. So the other build I would suggest running is one with Radiant Fire. It's more supportive since you're not just burning all your virtues, you can use them when you need them. And it eventually catches up with retribution damage over time. So you would want to run it for things like higher level fractals, soloing, pugging. They're going to take a bit more time and less ideal circumstances. You'll be losing ages, scholar buffs, and all that. So you would stick with the same setup for Zeal, Fiery Wrath, Zealous Blade, Symbolic Avenger. For Radiance, you would still take right hand to strength or inner fire, like I said before, souling, bugging, may not have enough fury. Instead of retribution, you're going to take radiant fire and amplified wrath. You don't want perfect inscription since you're going to have a lot of burn damage with this build. You want unscathed still, unless you need master consecrations. Supreme Justice is good with this build since you're not going to be spamming F1. Absolute resolution if you really, really need it. Same with Indomitable Courage. You want to stick with Battle Presence since that's pretty good for your group. Help keep Scholar buffs up. For remaining Wrath, you're still going to be hitting F1 against Trash, so it's not so great. If you want something different and want to play Condi, you can go ahead and run basically the same build as the Great Sword build with some changes. Still want Fiery Wrath, you take Kindled Zeal instead of Zealous Blade, since you won't want to camp Greatsword for a second roll. Symbolic Avenger still. Radiant, Radiant Strength or Inner Fire depending on how much Fury you're going to have. Radiant Fire. Amplified Wrath. Unscathed Contender unless you really need Consecrations. Supreme Justice. Absolute. Resolution if you really need it, but that's really going to hurt you. And permeating Wrath for trash mobs. If you're fighting bosses, I would stick with Power Presence. Bosses with large hitboxes that will take longer than 20 seconds to kill, you want to run Scepter only, Zeal, Radiance, Virtues. You want Fiery Wrath, unless you're doing solo, you run to run Zealous Scepter instead, along with Fried Golden Dumpling Food. You'll be able to keep up a lot of might and it'll be better than Fire Wrath. You run Kindled Zeal, Chatter Aegis, and not really anything else to run there instead. Right Hand Strength and Inner Fire instead if you need the Fury. Radiant Fire, Amplified Wrath, Unscape Contender, Supreme Justice, Battle Presence. Pretty much the same stuff as Great Sword. Master Consecrations, Absolute Resolution, and Dominal Courage if you absolutely need it. If you want to run Hammer and you don't really need much support, you want to run Zeal, Radiance, Honor. And Zeal you want Fiery Wrath, Kindled Zeal, and Symbolic Avenger. Radiance you want Right Hand Strength, unless you really need the Fury from Inner Fire. Radiant Fire, and Amplified Wrath. Honor, you want Invigorated Bulwark, Empowered Might, and Rid of Persistence. If you want to run a supportive hammer build, you want Zeal, Honor, and Virtues. For Zeal, you want Fiery Wrath, Kindled Zeal, Symbolic Avenger, Honor, Invigorated Bulwark, Empowering Might, Rid of Persistence, all the same stuff. Same stuff as Greatsword and Virtues, you want Unscathed Contender, Supreme Justice, Battle Presence, Master of Consecrations, Absolute Resolution, and Indomitable Courage when need be. 
For gear, you want all Berserker gear, Scholar runes, Power Infusions. Flame Legion runes are a pretty decent alternative. I like to have one Toughness Trinket when I want to grab aggro and block for days in circuit groups for things like Arch Diviner. Second fight. All the weapons are worth having except Sword and Shield. Sigils for daytime you want Force and Air. Unless you can do Force and Slaying like on Hurrah. And for Night you want Night and Force. If you want to play Kandi you want full Sinister gear, Balthazar runes, Kandi infusions. For bosses you want Scepter Torch, same sigils as you would Berserker. And for trash you want Mace instead. You'll want Great Sword for both trash and bosses. For Mace and Great Sword you want Bursting instead of either Force or Air depending on daytime, nighttime, or if slaying applies. You can see I swapped out Force for Bursting when I have slaying. If it was daytime, I would do first thing and force instead of air and force. For consumables, bowls of seaweed salad are the best things they could run as berserker. They're more of a record run type of thing since they're kind of annoying to keep it up. Koi cakes are the best things they could run for Kandi. If you're running retribution, you want bowls of sweet and spicy butternut squash soup. Radiant fire, you want koi cakes. If you don't have radiance at all, you want truffle steaks, solo scepter, fried golden dumplings. Super veggie pizzas are good for radiant fire, cheap alternative. Birthday plaster otherwise for some free cheap casual food. And for utility you want potions are the best things regardless of anything. If they don't apply then you want toxic sharpening stones for a berserker and toxic focusing crystals for Kandi. I don't expect the builds to really change any when Heart of Thorns comes out, at least not for dungeons and fractals. Who knows what's to come with raids. Dragon Hunter is shaping up to be not so great for the current content for PvE, but we'll see. I hope you enjoyed the video and got a lot out of it. And you can go ahead and guess if this is a real merchant or if it's a troll merchant. You win absolutely nothing because I'm just a big troll. So yeah. There's that. See you next time.